Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and today we'll be doing a full review of the Must Lady 422A. Now for the setup, we have our audio interface connected to our computer and we have our TS cable, the one that goes out to the back, it's connected to our line 1. And I have an auxiliary cable here, which is connected to the line input. And this one is connected to my phone because I will be using my phone as a metronome. And for the phones or monitor, we'll be using the KZ ES4. For the instrument, I'll be using this Essex Jazz Bass. And the sound that you will hear will be the raw output from the Must Lady 422A. Before I give my verdict on the Must Lady 422A, let me just answer some of the questions which were raised during the unboxing video. By the way, if you haven't watched yet the unboxing video, I have provided a link on the description box. So the first question was, what is the 48 volt uh, switch for? So this is very common with people who are using the condenser mic. Now, if you plug in your condenser mic on the mic input and it doesn't work, that is because a condenser mic actually requires a uh, phantom power. So, uh, Must Lady already provided a phantom power for uh, condenser mics. Now, the next question was, what is the pad switch for? Now, this is used for uh, instruments with high output. Now, if you plugged in a high output instrument, the tendency is that even if you have a very low volume, it would clip, it would overshoot on your monitor. Now, to uh, fix that, you can use this pad switch so that the must lady would cut uh, 20 decibels of uh, output from your instrument. So the next question is, what is this line slash instrument and instrument switch for? Now, if you're using a microphone or an XLR plugged into this input, then uh, this switch should be down. But if you're plugging a guitar on the TS inputs, then your switch should be up. Next is this line input. Now, if you watched my unboxing video, I actually tackled this one. This is for your backing track. If you're using a backing track or if you're using your phone as a metronome, you can also use this one. Now, one of the issues which I encountered with Must Lady 422A is that uh, before I was using a uh, TRRS type phone jack. But when I tried to plug it in, it seems to be trying to find a sweet spot. So I had to adjust it and uh, there was a significant uh, distortion or amount of distortion which will be heard on your in-ear monitor. Now what I did was I ordered a TRS type jack. As you can see, this has four pins and this has three pins. Now this resolved the issue with the phone's jack on the Must Lady 422A. And the beauty of it is that the KZ uh, ES4 has an interchangeable wire. As you can see here, you can easily remove it and replace it with 
this wire. So it's that easy. Now, if you haven't watched my review on the uh, KZES4, I also provided a link below so you can check it out. Another question that came up was, can the Must Lady 422A record two tracks simultaneously? To be honest, we were very eager to find out the answer as well. So what we did was we plugged in two separate instruments on both lines 1 and 2, and then we tried to record, but apparently, the audio interface can only produce one track at a time. The two tracks which you are seeing right now are basically the same. Now, if you would zoom in, you would see that the two tracks here are identical. So what we did was, we tried it out on another computer using GarageBand, and it yielded the same results. We then referred to the user manual, and there we found out that the MustLady 422A was in fact wired to generate a combined track for input 1 and input 2 when used at the same time. This came out unexpectedly as we have seen other audio interface at the same price range which can perform separate recordings. So for the verdict, uh, let's start off with audio quality. I give it 9 out of 10. I was actually impressed because it does not add color to the output. It gives a clean sound and a more accurate representation of the character of the instrument being used, which is probably the thing I love the most about this audio interface. And for the delay, there was actually a slight delay when you try to record two separate tracks, but uh, that can be easily fixed with audio editing, so it's perfectly fine. Next is build quality. I give it 8 out of 10. The Must Lady 422A has a sturdy build and it doesn't look cheap at all. It offers considerable features which is usually found in more expensive audio interfaces. And lastly, value for money, I would give it unfortunately a 6 out of 10. Because for a 2 channel interface, I would expect that it can record 2 audio tracks simultaneously. But unfortunately, for the Must Lady, 422A this is not the case. In fact, there are other cheaper audio interfaces which has this feature for far less. It's more like uh, an expanded version of the more popular Must Lady 222A and not much of an upgrade, I would say. Overall, to be honest, I was kind of disappointed because this was advertised as a two-channel audio interface but can't produce two separate tracks. But don't get me wrong here because if you're looking for a great quality, clean sounding audio, this would probably work for you. I would say the two channels would be very useful in certain scenarios like if you're recording podcasts or doing a live performance where you need to plug your instrument and a microphone like sort of a mixer so that's it guys uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below now don't forget to uh, like and subscribe as well and uh, click the bell notification so you would be notified if ever we post a new video so once again thank you so much and i will see you on the next video